Here is section 6.3, and it's all about proportions. Here's what you need to understand about a proportion. Easy thing here, this would be 2 equal fractions. That's what a proportion is. It's two fractions that are equal. Now, we've seen this before. If I were to do this, if I have 4 fifths, and I wanted you to make this into an equivalent expression, something over 10. Could you do that? How could you make sure these two fractions were equal? What would this guy have to be? Eight. How did you get 8, Lisa? 5 by 2. Right, this guy was 5 times 2 is 10. If I multiply that times 2, I would get 8. These guys are equal fractions, right? They mean the same thing. You know what's really neat about these guys? Now, make sure you understand the proper wording here. In a proportion, uh, excuse me, in a proportion, cross products are equal. In a proportion, cross products are equal. That means that when you have the proportion that looks like this, A over B equals C over D, this is the proportion. That means that the cross products, and here's what the cross products look like. The cross products are the product across the equal sign like this and like this. So that means that the cross product a times D is equal to the other cross product B times C. So these are the cross products here and here. These guys are equal. If you're not sure about that, check back to any of those equivalent fractions that you guys worked with in the uh, couple of chapters ago. Take the one that we have up here at the top. 4 fifths is equal to 8 over 10. I claim this is a proportion, and that means that these fractions are equal. Bless you. If you were to check the cross products here, on one side you would have 4 times 10. What would you have on the other side? What's the other cross product? 5 times 8. And when you work this out, what do you get? You get the 40 equals 40, right? So that proves to us that these are equal fractions. If the cross products are not the same, they don't equal the same, then you didn't have a proportion. But what you can do is that you can take this information and you can solve equations now. Okay? Uh, there was the example that I gave you earlier today. A and so you can use this with rates and ratios. I said I could grade five exams in 10 minutes, and I wanted to know how long would it take me to grade 20 exams. Okay? So what I was doing here is I was comparing, I was doing exams to minutes. So when you set up these proportions, the units have to match up as you go across here. So exams to exams, minutes to minutes. But the question that I had was, how long would it take, right? And so you can make that equal to x. That's a variable. That's something you don't know. Now, according to what we've seen in the past, you could just look at this and go, OK, 5 times what gave me 20? 4. So then I would expect to do 10 times 4 to get 40, and that should be my answer, right? getting equivalent fractions. That's what we know and what we've seen before. Using the algebra, though, and working with proportions and cross products, cross products being equal tells me that the product here of 5 times x should equal the product across this way, which is 10 times 20.
Now let me go ahead and stop it before you do something that's going to be more difficult. You guys know that 10 times 20 is 200, right? I don't need to go there, and I don't want to go there, and let me show you why. This is an equation, and how do I get this x by itself? I divide both sides by 5, right? So if I divide this by 5, I'm going to divide the right side by 5 as well. So that reduces to give me just 1x. And on the right side, I have a fraction. I've got numerators. Uh, my numerator is the factors of 10 and 20. The denominator is 5. Can I reduce that fraction? Yes. How can I reduce this? 5 goes into it, uh, just one of them. It doesn't matter. 5 goes into 10 twice, right? So I end up with 40. Would I have gotten the same thing if I had done 200 divided by 5? Would I have gotten the same thing? 200 divided by 5, yeah, that's 40. But by keeping the numbers small and keeping them in terms of the factors, it makes my simplification a lot easier to handle. So looking back up here, five exams for every 10 minutes. And we do proportions, sometimes we, we do this. So like the first colon right here is that first uh, rate, five exams to 10 minutes, is equal to or is equivalent to 20 exams for how many minutes? And it's 40 minutes, so that answers the question. How long would it take? It would take 40 minutes.